Good morning, everybody. Thanks, Umeda and Ashwini, for taking us through the journey. How safe it is, how easy it is for us as corporate travels to carry on with our travel and do our day-to-day -day jobs. I'll take this journey later slightly more further and take you into nitty gritty. That what Umeda and Ashwini mentioned. How is it that we are practically doing it on the system? Is somebody doing the cursor for me? Okay, sorry. Thank you. Right. We're a 30 year old product. We have more than 51,000 customers globally. The main thing what we are very proud of as employees of Conquer is that we have 99% retention rate. Once a customer joins our Conquer journey, they stay with us 99% of the time. And this is something which is very important to tell you about how good the product is. Fortune 500 companies, 70% of them use Conquer on a daily basis. The employees of these organizations use Conquer on a daily basis to submit their expense reports, to book a travel. They utilize this to create a purchase request, send a purchase order to their vendors, receive an invoice virtually, make sure that the system reads the invoice, captures the data, does the audit check in the background, and that is when it sends it for approval. We also come with the partner network, what Sumeda was mentioning, Ola, Uber, the most common examples. If I had used an Uber to come to this location today, by the time I would have reached this hall, there would have been an expense line item in my Conquer account which says that I used Uber on this day from this location to this location. I paid by my corporate card or I paid by cash and this is the amount I spent. This entire information is coming directly from Uber to Conquer and that what is amazing. I as an employee did not have to put my time into submitting these details, the data is already there and the data is coming directly from the source which we as finance team knows that how important this is to make sure that there is no padding which is happening from the employee. There is no scope left for padding. This is data coming raw from the source to us. Uh, we, we mentioned we have 51,000 customers and they are across 150 countries. When we have presence in 150 countries, we are also abiding by the law of land in each of these countries. And that comes as a product feature for all of you. So this is data which is coming from an independent study where the CFOs agree that 98% finance leaders say that it is very critical to have the spend information, the total spend information. But at the same time, 81% also say that there is a gap in how much data we have. As Ashwini said that if you do not have the data, you only have an opinion. And that's where we play an important role. Where is it that my employees want to stay? Which hotel is it that where I, my employees stayed the maximum last year? If I've stayed at a hotel for 250 nights as an organization, that's a critical data point for me to go back to that hotel and negotiate a corporate rate, which is better than last year. Do my employees prefer, prefer Ola more or Uber more? Isn't that a critical point for us to negotiate a corporate rate with these organizations? And that is where we play an important role in making sure that you have visibility, where is the spend happening? If the spend is happening through a corporate card and that feed is coming directly into Conquer, I'm just a click away from finding out where is it that the spend happened more? Where is it there was more exceptions that the system threw on the basis of the spend that the employee had made? On a very lighter note, we sometimes mention the system can identify was it a virgin mojito or was it actually a mojito. So, and that is something I, from a human eye basis, can miss. But if I have a system which has an audit rule to find that out, that's critical information for me. I stayed in a hotel in Seattle. My overall hotel stay bill was $1,050. Uh, $1, the system let me sp submit all my expenses but they identified a small spend of $15. That's because my daughter was staying with me and she used a paid cartoon service. System said, I will let you submit all this, but this $15 is a personal spend. This is something that you should not be reimbursed on. 
had I not have gone kar, this is something this might have gone for reimbursement. Think about it from an organization's perspective, how many such $15 we might have missed on because we did not have Concur. And because we had Concur, we had a system in place which is letting the employee know that do you want to review this before you submit. It's not the organization which is telling the employee, it's the system which is telling the employee that this might be a spend which is an exception and you would want to relook at it. This is something we've discussed a lot today. What is that is a key priority for any finance leader. So what we see is there's a paradigm shift amongst the finance leaders. Earlier we used to say that what I as a finance leader want to make sure is that I am compliant with the tax regulation. That's not the say right now. The say right now is am I also optimizing how much tax am I paying? And that is not possible if I do not have visibility. Has my organization submitted the entire VAT amount that had to be uh, submitted? Do I have that information? Do I have that data? And that is where we play an important role. Again, visibility, uh, taking the same example, how many nights did I stay in a hotel? What is it that I prefer more? Is it SpiceJet? Is it any other airline that my employees prefer flying from? If I have that data, again, I can go back and negotiate a better rate. If I do not have that visibility, I am in the dark. I will go back with the same uh, contracts that I had previous year. Also, the control and compliance that we bring in. For us, the rule is if you've stayed for two nights, that is when you can submit a laundry bill. A very small expense, the check for which can get uh, missed. I might have stayed only one night and I have utilized the laundry service. But can the system create that exception for me which I can justify? Because of an urgent meeting, I had to use the laundry service and spend that 1000 bucks extra at the hotel. Again, I'd make you think how many such 1000 bucks throughout the year for all the employees. And that's where we play an important role. So the pillars, the value pillars that we bring you, control and compliance, spend governance, making sure that I have a check, how much is being spent on. Uh, so may I mention 1% is where you see. We also mention from the Conquer benchmark, which is based on 51,000 customers globally over 30 years, that out of all these expense reports which are submitted, 23% of them would have at least one expense line item which could have been non-compliant. That's our benchmark. And if I, I request you to do the maths for your own organization, how much that money can be, which is lying on the table, which we can save for you. Employee experience. I give this a lot of importance. What Ashwini said, most of us, we do not even reach home from the airport and our expense reports are ready. My hotel bill is there because when I was checking out from the hotel, I told them send a soft copy to my official email ID. And that is also important from sustainability point of view, not taking a printout, just asking for a soft copy and sending it to Conquer directly from my um, official ID. If I do that, I have not even reached the airport and my entire hotel bill is itemized in Conquer. For Ola and Uber and similar such partners, we do not have to send an email or take a picture. That is happening automatically in the background. We just review it and we submit it for approval. So that's... If I've been hired for a job, I'm doing that job and I'm not wasting my time in submission of expense report. We as an application want you and your employees to spend less time on Conquer and more for what you are there for. And that's where employee experience plays an important role. Expansion, you have uh, a very uh, critical example here. Huh? We had an organization, they said we're starting business in Poland. We said, we are ready, you tell us, we will implement that for you. We told them, are you aware that in Poland, you cannot have a per diem rate that you want to have? It's the government who decides what the per diem rate will be in Poland. You cannot have a currency exchange rate as per your uh, decision. This is controlled by the National Bank of Poland. So this is where we come in with a very important aspect that we are ready. We are country ready. If you have to expand, we will do that with you while you are doing it. So that's the overall architecture. How does this work? 
you might have a travel agency who's working with you or you would want to bring in our travel agency whom we call a TMC, a travel management company. You might not want to bring in a TMC that we have but continue with your existing one. Or you would have direct bookings which are being done by your travel desk. It doesn't matter. You decide where you are in your journey. We will plug in from there and make sure that you have visibility, you have spend control and compliance in place. What we'll do is making sure that you have one platform to refer to. If you have to know, is your policy implemented or not? I as an employee need to know how much can I spend on a hotel stay in Mumbai and how much can I spend in Bangalore? That is something I can find out myself on the platform itself. Uh, machine learning, we're talking about AI. We've been doing this for a while now. Our uh, expensive feature, which is there on our mobile app, it's what we use to take a picture. If I am at McDonald's, I'm at Starbucks, I would leave the receipt there because I'll just take a picture. Once I take a picture through machine learning and through AI, the system will read data and bring it on my Conquer profile, on my uh, expense report. Once the data is there, I do not need that receipt now. And as Ashwini mentioned that if you have an EA who's doing the submission for you and I am traveling, I am taking pictures, my EA at the same time can look at those receipts and submit the uh, expense report. So we have, we've pioneered how machine learning can be utilized for submission of expense receipts. And on a very lighter note, we always mention McDonald's because it's there globally. Those receipts are read fastest by Conquer. Moving forward with Conquer Invoice, this is Procure to Pay. We can create a purchase request in Conquer. We can pull your inventory data so that when I am submitting a purchase request, I can bring in the same data from your inventory uh, database while making the purchase request. Send it to the vendor from Conquer. The vendor sends us the invoice. The invoice can be a soft copy, hard copy. If it's a soft copy, Conquer will read it immediately and capture that data into Conquer. Once it has been captured, it will do the audit check, making sure that we are compliant. How much can we pay to this vendor? Uh, is there a credit note that has already been sent to this uh, vendor? This is something which is happening in the background automatically for any of the vendors. After that, we send it for approval. To whom it goes for approval is something you let us know during the design phase, and we do that for you in the system. So this is all automated. What would have taken a lot of time from sending a courier from a branch office to head office and then going from one desk to the other is now happening and can happen within a day because everybody is doing it on the go on their mobile app in Conquer. It can be SAP or any other ERP, we will integrate with, the, with all. And that's where once the invoice is approved in Conquer, data goes back to ERP for you to make the payment from your financial system. What comes back in Conquer is the reports and dashboards. Once the payment has been made, we would still have access to the reports and dashboards in Conquer for you to give you the information. How much has been paid to this vendor? How much time did we take to spend uh, to pay back to this vendor? This data comes at a click of a button in Conquer. <coughs> That's our ecosystem of partners. And what you'll appreciate, they are not only from travel experience perspective, but we have a specific industry solutions also. We were talking about doctor's database. Our database can be linked to the Indian Medical Association so that you can pull the license number of the doctor as well while you're creating this report. We also have ready connectors with other ERPs. With SAP, it's a seamless experience, no doubt about it. So what's in value for me? I'm looking at 30% faster payment to my vendors. I'm not talking about a delay in payment. Those are gone days that would not require to be happening now. I'm 65% more compliant when I'm submitting an expense report because the system is doing the check for me. And because the system is doing the check for me, I'm only checking what has been alerted by the system to me. And that makes me faster as well. 
in my overall process. We're looking at a five months of payback period. If we talk about that 1% that we were talking about, we're looking at five months ROI here. Sustainability, and my colleague will cover this, but what I want to touch upon is that how practically I can empower every employee to try to be more sustainable in our journeys of reaching 0% carbon emission. How do we do that? At the time of booking, can I have an alert which tells the system, this, uh, which tells the employee, this will be your uh, carbon emission rate if you take this flight. Can I tell them, can I recommend them that instead of taking a flight, why don't you do a teleconference? So this is us practically reaching out to employees to make sure that we are taking an action towards sustainability. And we definitely have the dashboards available. And as we mentioned that going further, we would have this data not only for air travel, but for ground travel as well. So that's our main takeaways. I am available here. Any questions you have that I can take for you, we'll be more than happy to have a discussion. Thank you.